On the throttle is brought to you by sportbikerange.com. Performance part. As simple as that is, you'd be surprised how much that can save you if you're a street rider. See there, even though he's not trying, the rear end came up just a little bit. You can see his front forks compress. And when his front forks compress, that's actually what's going to initially bring up the rear wheel. Now, as his front forks, they sank into about here when he was doing his panic brakes. Now what he's going to do is his front forks are going to be sinking in, and as his front forks are sinking in with the initial braking, a little stab of the brake is what brings it up the rest of the way. Now, you're not going to be doing a massive stab. This is something that's so minute, the first few times you do it, you're not even going to realize that you've done it. You're just going to realize that the rear end picked up just a little bit. You can also do this by just squeezing the brakes progressively. And as you progressively squeeze the brakes, the rear of the motorcycle is going to come up. Now again, endos are very, very specific to the rider. Your preference of hand grip and your pre preference of how to bring the bike up is what's most important. So ride around for a little bit and start to initiate the brakes and bring up the rear. We're talking six inches at best and feel how it comes up and feel how to manipulate the brake lever to bring the rear end up. Don't try and pop up to a big old stop at the end. What you want to be doing is going about 25 miles an hour or so, bringing the bike and trying to progressively bring the rear end up about six inches while you're rolling maybe five, 10 miles an hour at best. You don't want to be going 20 miles an hour Panic stopping till the very end in the last two or three miles an hour, stabbing the rear brakes to bring your, your rear end up because that's what's gonna flip your bike over and cause you to crash in front of all your friends and look like an idiot. So after we talked about doing the, the hand position and finding out what's comfortable, what I would like you to do is always remember in the beginning, doing the endos in neutral is not a bad idea. You gotta keep a clean presence of mind, of course, so if you do set the endo down and you do need to get on the power again, that you gotta be able to click it into gear. The reason I suggest neutral in the beginning is if for some reason you make a lot of mistakes and it's in gear and it slams down, it has a tendency if you were had a lot of speed and the engine's already down to zero miles an hour, that back end can whip around on you. There's just a lot of things that can go wrong with the bike being in gear. So Ernie's gonna do his first few endos in gear for us because he's been doing them for a long time, but please remember, always try it in neutral at first. Neutral's always safer, except for wheelies, which that always gets ugly. So go ahead, Ernie. Do a couple little six inch off the ground power endos. We also call this plowing. All he did there was plow. He plowed, the, plowed into the endo, he loaded the forks up, kept on the rear brake, or kept on the front brakes. Very simple thing to do. This is something that's great just to get used to the feeling of the bike. Little plows. Real simple stuff. You'd be surprised how long it takes to learn how to do this comfortably. So we were seeing earlier, he was loading up the suspension and it was compressing down to about here and the back end was slowly but surely coming up. Uh, we as street freestyle riders, we usually call that plowing an endo. And the reason why is because we didn't just snap it up to balance point. Now with time and a lot of practice, and we're talking years here, you can rip that bike right up to balance point and carry an endo and do anything you want while you're in it. But initially, what we want to be doing is just plowing an endo. And all that really means is just getting on the front brakes enough to where you're trying your damnedest to slow down and the rear reel comes up a little bit. Now what I'm gonna have Ernie do, Ernie's gonna bring the endo up slightly higher. We're gonna be talking maybe, uh, what do you wanna do, maybe two feet or so? Maybe even a little bit more. Just plow it, but plow it at a good, for a good distance. Uh, this is this, another safe way to learn the endo. The brake initiation is gonna be the exact same. You're just gonna use a little bit more to bring it up. Again, you don't wanna stab it and try and bring it up high right away. You wanna Press the front end and then bring it up. And use a little bit of body English. If the bike's really stubborn, these bikes, of course, this is a newer model, Kawasaki 636, it's an 04. It has a good old updated front end from an 05, 06 Kawasaki 636. You don't need to upgrade your front ends on most bikes. Uh, conventional or, or inverted forks are just fine. If you have conventional forks, they're gonna compress even more. It's actually gonna be easier to initiate the small little baby endos that are gonna bring you in to larger endos later. These forks, of course, are very unforgiving, but as you see Ernie do it now, 
He's gonna get some good speed going, maybe even into second gear, which is gonna be first gear on most of your modern motorcycles. He does have a GPR stabilizer set at four. And I wanna make time to mention this now. If you're going over 20 miles an hour and you're trying to do an endo, it is not imperative, but it is a great idea to have some type of a stabilizer. Um, I like GPR. Olin's also makes a great one. The rod and piston style is fantastic. There's two different main styles. You have the ones that go on top of the triple, and you have the rod and piston type that sit in front. Either one are absolutely necessity if you're going over 30 miles an hour trying to do endos, because if you get head shake, it will punish you. So Ernie with his set damper here is gonna do some nice, more power endos, but just give you an idea of how it looks. Nice and calm, the way he brought it up. This is not something where he's really digging into it. Compressing the front end and bringing it through. So one more time we go here, second gear. He brings up a nice little clean, controlled endo. This is what I want you to be considering your goal for the first week or so. The reason why is if you're ever going too fast and you need to panic stop and your bike picks up and does that type of an endo, you're not gonna panic. You're gonna be in control. It's a great tool for the track, it's a great tool for the street, and it's really a lot of fun. Now what Ernie's gonna do is a real endo. And there's just really no, no learning this fast. This is something that Ernie was just demonstrating with the plow technique will come in time. You're gonna plow windows for a while, you're gonna slowly bring them a little higher and a little higher, and by bringing them a little higher, you're gonna feel that bike get a little more weightless. And as the bike gets weightless, it's gonna make you pucker. I guarantee you the first few times it really gets up there, you let go, you slam down, and you go, I just killed myself. And you weren't even close to the balance point yet. But I'm gonna have Ernie rip out a couple good endos, just show him what it looks like. controlled, not even balance point endo. Ernie was just doing pretty much what we consider your average endo. And there he is at balance point there, carrying it nice and slow, in control, easy does it. Ernie's actually been one of the ones, we compete in, a, in an area that usually has a 300 foot approach, and Ernie's rolled five to 600 feet off a 300 foot approach in the past. Simple stuff, but a lot of fun. Want to do a 180? <laughs> oh, 180? Yeah, why not? Now, once you learn endos, this is your goal. Endos are fun. Learning how to steer endos really makes it rewarding. You're not gonna learn this right away, but I just wanna show you what to aspire to. So after a long time of learning how to use the front brakes to bring the endo up, this is where all the fun happens. Bringing up an endo turning it, doing a 180, and being able to take off the other direction. A lot of fun, good for parking lots. There you go. I want to see Speeds do that over the finish line, bad. Yeah. <laughs>